Hi, and welcome to the Unknown Secrets of SEO Podcast. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another fun-filled edition of the Unknown Secrets of SEO. My name is Chris Burris, owner of eWebStyle. And I'm Paul Hansen, uh, sales manager of eWebStyle, and we're raising our hands. And uh, yes, <laughs> no one can hear yes, that. For those of you watching in the video, we are raising our hands, announcing ourselves. And I will be pointing at him from time to time, <laughs> and he may or may not be pointing at me from time to time. Um, this is podcast number 660. Can you believe that? Wow. Woo! Wow. Six zero. We should have had like cigars and and scotch, except that's because I that's just awesome. had kids. Why not? <laughs> Shit. Why we gotta wait till we have kids? Um, but that's true. That should be actually we have we do have a scotch in the, in the Good kitchen finish. that's been there since we opened in 1991. It's probably some of the oldest scotch you can find. Oh wow! I'm not sure it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> just because it's older. Um, yeah, this is podcast number 60. You are listening to the most popular and or watching the most popular SEO podcast on iTunes. We really appreciate your listenership. And your growing viewership as it's about to grow. <laughs> we check every now and then, and apparently not that many people are watching this at 9.15 Central Standard Time on Fridays. Uh, I got to tell you, though, and now I'm pointing at you, <laughs> next week you need to tune in because we've got an interview. Oh, something, something, we'll spice it up a little bit. And, and we're going to spice it up. We get requests every now and then, hey, we want you to do interviews. We did. Uh, we've done two interviews so far. We've got another big interview. Three, three. This three. We did uh, Chuck. Oh yeah, Joe, most serious. I forgot most and, serious. And uh, Ken. We interviewed the SEO rapper. Yes. Here on the SEO podcast. So if you're just kind of tuning in now and you're like SEO rapper, what are you talking about? It's kind of like that. Uh, Toyota video that Swagger we passed around. Swagger Wagon. Swagger Wagon. You guys have to Google Swagger Wagon and watch the video. I just had kids, so I just, you know. That was a great find, man. It was that is a cool. great find. Yeah. We need bigger plasma screens here so we can play that, like, throughout the day randomly, and everyone has to get out and. Swagger Wagon. Where are my kids at? Where are my kids they're, at? They're right over there. Oh, good. <laughs> It's pretty awesome. It is very awesome. So Mo Serious is on on par with the Swagger Wagon uh, and is a great SEO rapper. And our, our, the person we're interviewing on Friday is Terry Weigel. Weigel. W-Y-G-A-L. Uh, he's a big marketing guy. He started in real estate. He's a big marketing guy. Uh, SEO guy teaches SEO uh, in and around the Houston area at least if not throughout the country we'll mm -hmm. find out those details um, I bet you however he does not teach in Botswana but we do we teach do. In we that. teach in Botswana <laughs> as we mentioned in our last podcast uh, we are internationally rec recognized as SEO experts even well, in every continent except Antarctica, uh, and we, you know, every now and then, you know, we get somebody who's listening in Africa, and the last time we like to shout them out or point them out. Mm -hmm. um, shout out is when you actually. You know. <laughs> anyway, so uh, it, it's in Botswana, and we have a listener there. So whoever's in Botswana, we really appreciate your listenership as well as everyone else out there. Um, you can stalk us, you can find us, you can chase us, you can haunt us. We don't like the haunting as much. Plain weird and just keep coming around all or the time. Or you can like us. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> on Facebook now, apparently, you can like us. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter. Uh, that's twitter.com slash ewebstyle, E-W-E-B-S-T-Y-L-E. Facebook is similar, facebook.com slash ewebstyle. Uh, this is being broadcast live on Ustream Fridays at 9.15 Central Standard Time. And uh, you can find us there. The easiest way to find that is just to go to our website, e-webstyle.com slash the letter U stream, U stream. Um, you can also find us at YouTube and the, also the similar e-webstyle.com slash YouTube where you spell out U. All this whole internet, this whole internet thing. I don't think it's wow. gonna go anywhere, <laughs> and it's bad. so confusing. <laughs> Just like email. Yeah, it worked for a little bit. It's kind um, of we'd like to mention every now and then we have coined a very important phrase, and that's SIVO, search engine visitor optimization. Uh, and that's what a lot of our podcasts are about. It's not just about getting on the first page of Google. It's what do you do after that? So search engine visitor optimization after. 
uh, you get a visitor from a search engine, what are you going to do with him? Uh, if, if, you're, if that sounds remotely interesting to you, make sure you listen to all of our podcasts. Yes. Some of our accolades, some of our testimonials have said, I've gone back and listened to all of your podcasts and learned more than in several books. Um, and you can find that actually in iTunes. Mm -hmm. uh, we are on iTunes, and uh, we have a number of reviews out there. We are a five-star podcast. And that's what's up. That's man. what's up. Yeah. <laughs> we are the only one. <laughs> yep. Except for that dude that has 100 reviews and 99 fives. Yeah. Come on. Dude. Yeah. I've listened to your podcast. Although we're on core. I mean, if we just stay on air long enough, yeah. well, on the wire, didn't we? But I listen to this fool's podcast. I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I'm giving not five stars. Are you serious? Yeah. No. Not happening. Pretty crazy. What? Oh. Oh, yeah, there's some noise <laughs> at, the, at the office I'm next tripping. door. All right, uh, we have uh, not exceeded our Geno timeline, and that's good because we don't like Geno uh, <laughs> angry at us and sending us haunting email. What did we cover last time? Um, I don't know. We, we, co covered, we just talked about this two seconds ago. We covered, oh, went to a seminar, uh, and I came back and brought some tips about what I learned in this seminar. Some We covered a lot about Google Local, um, Google Local Business Center, which is now... Google Places, Places used or, to be Google Local Listings. Yeah. Um, go back and listen to that podcast. If you mm -hmm. don't have a um, Google Places listing, get one today. I filled out two this week, and it took me about a half hour. I mean, total. Total. It, and I was really doing everything. I did everything. So you want to get a Google Places listing. You want to make sure that your listing is 100% complete. You know, you want to have pictures, videos, hours of operation, you know, Basic stuff, address, Everything. payment that you set, whatever. And um, and if, if you're not familiar with Google Local listings, make sure you go back and listen to podcast number 59 because uh, we cover that in depth. Yes. We actually cover it kind of in the last, this has been like a five podcast series, series where we've talked about Google Local listings, sponsored local listings mm -hmm. or local places listings. Thank you. Uh, and oh, the so tag, the, the yellow the, tag. The, the little yellow thing. tag, pay 25 bucks. Uh, I don't know. I think it's still in. It's at least in Houston and and, and San Jose, San Jose, San Diego, yes. or one of them. Uh, and we're uh, coming to about five more cities uh, in the country soon. So um, go back and listen to those podcasts. Listen to this it. is frankly, this is a big direction that search is going to go. Very, you know, very local. Local, so. I mean, and everyone is going local. If you see, if you've been on Twitter, you've been on Facebook, and you see the ads that pop up around you are typically ads that are in your city or at least on my Facebook page I always get ads on my right hand side that are from Houston so everything is going local it's very important I think I think the local part of our podcast is one of the one well, of the more important parts absolutely. that we've done uh, recently well you know they've been we've been saying they've been saying whoever they are that uh, the yellow, yellow pages is dying out right <coughs> well, yellow pages are usually for finding local businesses mm -hmm. so if you went to Google and you typed in plumber and you came up with a list of plumbers in um, and Washington yeah. State, you know, it, Google, it, you know, the yellow pages wouldn't be dying if that's, you know, will, would never die if that was the results you were mm -hmm. getting, if you had to be so specific. So um, Google's just getting really good at, uh, even better at what they do. Um, speaking of Google, this week was Google I.O. 2010. I saw that, but I was like, what exactly is I.O.? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I, it's, it's their conference, right? It's where they announce stuff. It's where they <coughs> we're doing stuff. They announced Google TV. Oh, you were telling me about that yesterday. Yeah, and I hadn't had a chance to do much research on it. I just glanced at it this morning. And really, they're just their goal is... Seamless integration of web and your big old TV set. Also known as taking over every part of your life, collecting all of your information. It's probably going to have a camera in it so it watches what you do. Well, speaking of that, they're actually getting sued. <laughs> <laughs> For putting cameras in people's homes and watching what well, they do. Well, you know the little trucks that have the cameras <laughs> on that give you the oh, Google the street, street View, view right? Yeah. Well, they got Wi-Fi receivers on them, <coughs> and apparently they were collecting personal information from any networks that they could actually that were open for like unsecured networks. Unsecured networks. You better they're secure getting, your network, fool. They're getting sued. Now, <laughs> my first thought is, how do you know? How did anyone yeah. find out that they had personal information? Seriously, like, it's crazy. <laughs> uh, is there some hacker who decided to just monitor just in case? 
and actually was, you know, had his Wi-Fi network monitoring what information somebody else was, was getting was as they were driving by. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody's taking information? Oh, it's oh, gone. It's dang it. It. <laughs> Ooh, dang it. <laughs> and then he happened, maybe he put it together, he happened to see Google Street View of his house, and he was up front, like, running, and he goes, <laughs> that must have been Google! <laughs> that stole my information. That mother father <laughs> stole my information. <laughs> I mother stole that. Father, that's, that's good. I use that all the time. That's you gotta good. check out Swagger Wagon. Swagger Wagon. Make a hat in. This TV got kids. Paul Paul's pointing at you. I <laughs> you guys out pointing there. Pointing on your forehead like your dad used to do when you got in trouble. <laughs> or my dad used or to do Or before it. you came out of the womb. <laughs> uh, <laughs> have you heard that joke, the doctor joke? No, uh, I'll, I'll tell, I'll tell you that joke later. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, I, you know, i got to tell this, too. This is just kind of a, a bit of advice. I got this, uh, I think, last week. Um, and, you know, there's a big whole craze about the flip phone. And this is just a great concept in general. Go for the refurbished units and buy a three-year warranty. And okay. you'll end up paying less than the new with a more extensive warranty. That sounds like actually a great idea. So that's just my tip for the day. Buy a flip phone with a get a three a whip phone, flip phone with a three-year warranty. Yeah, get a refurbished flip phone or anything. I mean, this is just a, that's why it applies to everything. If you buy, I don't know. Uh, something else. <laughs> unless, unless you think about getting an iPhone 4G, get it and tell us how it is. Yeah, I get see, it. I want yeah. to someone, see someone tell us how cool it is. Yeah. And you know, 4G is fourth generation, not like 4G speed. Oh, I didn't know what that was. Yeah, 4G is the Evo. By the way, at Google I/O 2010, everyone who attended got a free Evo Sprint what? phone. Come on. Evo is like wow. the bomb Android phone that just came out. I think they got some other free phone too. I don't know. I, I, I didn't I didn't care because I actually had my eyes on the Evo. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> you can't get an invite, Google? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Hey, we're talking about you all the That's time. That's what I'm saying. And though. it's usually good. Yeah, <laughs> usually. <laughs> um, and one other thing I just uh, I just wanted to mention. Well, and that's something we can talk about in the meat of our podcast. That is the news for today. Come on down. All right. So what do we got, Paul? We, I uh, I found an article um, on a website uh, called Line25.com. I've never been there before. Um, the, the guy who wrote his name is Chris. Yeah. Chris Spooner. He wrote this article and it had some pretty good points. And basically, what it is, it's the title of this article is classic. I, I saw it and I had to read it. Five SEO tips that make you look like a douche. Yes. Douche. A douche. A douche. douche. Not a D-O-U- douche bag. Yeah, a douche. A douche. Okay. D-O-U-C-H-E. Never knew how to spell that word until now I read do. this yeah. article. It's look a French like a word. Douche. Yeah. Really? Le douche. I didn't know that. Yeah. Learn something every day. Yeah. All well, right, two so, things. How yeah. to spell it, and that is yeah. French. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, because it's French, is probably why you didn't know how to spell it. There you go. <laughs> and uh, now you will never forget it. There you go. Exactly. I want to start writing douche in random places. Douche and mother father. Yeah, mother father. You mother father douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris come, he comes up with this. Uh, Chris Spooner. Yeah. <laughs> he comes up with a couple things, and these are really just his own pet peeves. Um, and he says, you know, these are my own SEO pet hates or whatever. Um, and I, the reason I wanted to, I agree with some of them. I mean, I have different levels of agree disagreement with them. But I wanted to um, bring it up. I thought it was a good point to talk about things that you do and don't agree with. Um, in the SEO, and he has a good point. I'm just going to read this. He says, uh, sometimes people people begin to go um, too far, either with bad advice from SEO SEO companies. That's point number one, or just by becoming caught up with optimization that they neglect the core principles of web usability. Point number two. Point number two goes back to SEVO, web usability. You got to, you know, your visitor. It's about your visitor. That's why you got. I mean, one, it's about getting on Google. Two, it's about once they're at your website, what are you doing with them? What are they doing? And, and and if you've kind of totally optimized your website only for search engine monsters or robots, depending on what you want yeah. to call them, uh, then you're probably going to get some sort of interface, and it's not going to be very user-friendly, so you're kind of destroying the purpose of actually acquiring traffic from Google. So, uh, and, you know, the the fundamental title of this tar- article, which, uh, which it's wonderful because it includes the word douche, uh, <laughs> and you know, you know, top five things, five, right? Top five yeah. things you do that make you look like a douche. You know, we talk about all the time. Your job as an SEO expert or as, as someone doing SEO is to provide a great experience to the Google user. If you're doing that, you will do well. 
uh, at the end of the day. Yes. And frankly, I don't think douche is one of the adjectives you want to use when you're uh, you know, creating a good experience for Google. Yes. Using not, not you want to stay un. Douche. Douche. A bowl. Undouche. 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 Undouche again. So we could change our podcast to the undouchification <laughs> of the internet. We're um, not douche. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like that news review. And that's not and douche. That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Point number one from Chris Spooner. <clears throat> this will make you look like a douche. Stuffing your title with keywords, and I can't tell you how many times we, everyone should understand this by now, but I, you do still see it. Um, here's an example of a squirrel exterminator. Uh, it's the title tag, it's a li- it's an image of search and results page, I'm just reading from the article. It's a star- squirrel exterminator, hyphen, squirrel extermination, or what is bar. it? Bar. Bar. Up and down bar. Yeah. Uh, stermi- squirrel extermination, hyphen, squirrel exterminated. I mean, it, you, you get the point here. And basically what this is about, you know, everyone, on, the title tag is very, very important for SEO. You know, search engines, read, search engine robots read it, people read it, it's very important. You don't want to stuff keywords in it, though. You don't, for, I mean, remember. Or do it elegantly or do it, you know, you, you, you've got to be careful. You, you, you just got to be careful. You're exactly I, right. I, I should, let me put emphasis on stuff. Yep. You want keywords in there. And you, you want them, you want a lot of them. Yeah. You want to be right on that cusp of stuffing and but not, not cross the douche line. And not be a douche about your stuffing. Yep. But And don't forget, your title tag, you want to tell, you, people see your title tag in one place, basically. The search engine result, the SERP, search engine results page. So they want to know what your website is about. Your description tag is going to tell them that. But, you know, your title tag, you want to make sure that it's consistent with your website. I mean, obviously this website is probably about squirrel, squirrel extermination. You think? Yeah, I, I, hope, I, I certainly yeah. hope so. Yeah. yeah, hopefully it's not, you know, something I bizarrely hope so, so. unrelated. Yeah, don't... Squirrel hats. Yeah, don't be a douche <laughs> and, yeah. uh, and just go overboard with it. And this is kind of related to another point, which is uh, we'll, we'll get to in a second. All right. Yeah, yeah. And, and remember, and, and Paul's right, that, that, you know, this title tag shows up, uh, can very easily show up, and, and description, sometimes they'll go back and forth right there on the first uh, during the search engine mm-hmm. results and we say that SIVO begins at search search engine results page so uh, wow that's good that's very that's cool yeah. out there SIVO <laughs> begins at SERP SIVO begins at SERP all right the second one uh, don't be a douche by littering body text with keywords this kind of goes back well I guess goes right to what we're saying don't don't stuff don't stuff and I'm gonna read this I thought this was pretty funny because I, I see this all the time and if you're doing SEO, it's so tempting to just throw a buttload of keywords in there. Listen to this. We are a professional and reliable Arizona squirrel exterminators and squirrel extermination specialists in Arizona, offering squirrel extermination in many areas of Arizona. As a squirrel extermination company in Arizona, Arizona squirrel exterminator consultants, we can exterminate squirrels quickly and effectively in Arizona. Book your Arizona squirrel extermination appointment today and exterminate your Arizona squirrel infestation. Now, if that were a song, <laughs> I think it'd be okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not a song. This is text that's on a web page, you know, and, you know, and I don't know how you'd turn it into a song. That's what I'm saying. I mean, how many times have everyone has seen this before? And you can tell, unless you're just dumb. <laughs> I mean, it's just a lack of a better word. We do not have, I got to tell you, we do not have dumb listeners. Okay. Right. So, okay, so we don't even have to address that. There you go. So, <laughs> <laughs> unless you're not listening to this podcast and are dumb, I mean, and somehow get this. Get off. yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> People can tell. I, I think. Uh, I believe that visitors are more intelligent. Yes. Than they were ten year, year Web surfers were more sophisticated and intelligent than they were ten years ago. Yep. So you can you can know. I read you read websites and be like, okay, you're. I get it. You're stuffing. Chill. Yeah, not good. And it, that would not so, be a good experience. It's, yeah. I know. It's so tempting to want to do it. I'm writing some copy the other day, and I'm just like, oh, I had to take, take some out because I'm like, it's just. Yeah, that, that's probably a good practice. You know, if you're really sitting down and you're really wanting to write keyword rich copy, go for it. You know, maybe let it all out. Just put it all out there. Get, mm-hmm. End up with something like this. Sit on it a day. Come back. And then kind of strip out That's the ridiculous douchey yes. nature of it. Sit on, you know, sit on it for a day mm-hmm. with a cl- come back with a clear mind, and because you, you don't want to stuff. It's so tempting to do it, but search engine robots pick up on it. 
and your visitor picks up on it. It's like, okay, I get it. You exterminate squirrels. Just, blah. Yeah. So don't don't be a douche. Just let me bounce <laughs> out of here and go on to there somebody else go. who hasn't, you know, stuffed. <clears throat> the third one? To the point of douchiness. To the point of douchiness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chris Spooner, I'm going to have to disagree with you. Point number three, don't be a douche by not using your real name on comments. I've heard that before. I don't know, dude. I'm with you, Paul. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to yeah. put, I was telling Chris, I'm not going to put, you know, my full first, middle, last social security home address. You know, I'm exaggerating, obviously, but, nah. You, so, okay, there's two two kind of schools of thought. One, is there is there any value of using your real name? Well, maybe if you're trying to brand your your name. Okay. But, you know, it, his example was the guy, the comment was left by Arizona squirrel extermination, right? So the, the hope is is that that link is going to get you, that that actually links back to his website. So now he's got good anchor text that's linking back to his website. You know what? It's not on, frankly, it's not on my website. Uh, you do want to provide comments that are valuable. Uh, having a unique name that identifies what you do uh, it's not a problem. I don't. I don't see a problem with that. I. I, I have to agree with you. That's um, yeah. not douchey. That is. I don't think that's douchey. Uh, Douches at all. Yep. Um, okay. Number four. Kind of go back with two and three. Excessive interlinking of words and phrases. Okay. Internal links are important. Um, you got to have internal links. And what they're referring to is okay. So let's say we have. Here's a sentence. Squirrel extermination is a risky business. Period. Squirrel extermination is the anchor text linking back to another page, hopefully about in, squirrel extermination. And in, internal, right. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It's going back to another page within that website. It's good to have internal and external links. you got to have the proper anchor text. By the way, we should tell Chris that the next time he wants to write this article that we'll make some pages for him that he'd use. Because we'll get some good links out of this, and we oh. could probably get some good traffic. There you go. Because <laughs> I want to visit the squirrel extermination. I don't live in Arizona. Can I fly you in? Do they even have squirrels in Arizona? It's, it's too, too hot. hot. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, they do. They just carry umbrellas. So, And it goes on. Uh, there's another article. I mean, there's a, there's a whole paragraph. And throughout the paragraph, uh, squirrel extermination is a risky business. But here at Squirrel Busters, we have over link. 20 years. Yeah, I'll we do have the over, link. You, you, you okay. Keep, you. We have over 20 years of squirrel extermination link. experience. Our team link. is qualified and experienced to tackle any squirrel extermination link. job and is equipped with tools and knowledge to deal with any gray squirrel infestation. Link. Red squirrel infestation. Link. Rabbit squirrel control. Link. And hypermobolic squirrel outbreak. Link. Contact us. Link. To arrange your squirrel extermination link. appointment. Yeah. That's a lot of links. That's like 50 words yep. and 12 links. Yeah. Okay. It's good. You know, you don't want to stuff links. Either. Yeah. You don't want to stuff well, keywords. In this case, I mean, you could get kind of the same effect. Content is king. It'd be better actually to stretch this into multiple uh, paragraphs and have, you know, one or two links okay. per paragraph so it doesn't come up as this just, you know, incredibly concentrated, uh, you know, keyword stuff, yeah. link, anchor text. Again, people situation. are sophisticated. They can tell when you're just link stuffing. Is that a, even a term? Yeah. I guess link stuffing. It is now. They, yeah, they can tell when you're keyword stuffing. They can tell when you're link stuffing. Oh, and this is one thing I wanted to bring up about keyword stuffing. Um, if you're obviously you're doing this because you want to get better places. We subscribe to, and I say the SEO industry subscribes to a industry standard of something called keyword density. You want to stay anywhere between one to three percent of keyword density. So. If you have a hundred words in an, on a page, how many times should I have a particular keyword on that page? You want anywhere between one to three percent, so anywhere from one to three, to three times. times. Um, you know, three even sometimes three. If you read it, it sounds like a lot. A lot, yeah. I mean, read your stuff. Have other people read it. If it's if if they're like, whoa, what are you uh, you stuff in here, huh? Yeah, <laughs> they probably won't say that. But. Especially if they're not an SEO. If they say that, oh, <laughs> give it up. Just get you, out of the business. You have crossed the douche line you, for sure. Yeah, you are officially a douche. If your mom is like, "Ooh, guys, you're stuffing," <laughs> <laughs> you're a douche. Uh, you, do, you may be a douche if. Yeah, you may be a douche if. That's what this should. That's what this should have been, Chris yeah. Spooner. Maybe a douche if. And the last one. Uh, he has a good point. I'm kind of iffy on it. I'm um, eh. 
Okay. Go ahead, bring it up and all. Number five, don't be a deuce by sending link exchange request emails. The first, when I first read this, I was like, well, how the hell else are you going to get a link if you don't ask for it? Um, but what he talks about is, it's kind of like a new way of doing, or newer than sending link request emails, of doing link building. And so he's saying, basically, there's so many directories out there that you can submit your website to. And it basically, it's, hey, you can either link, he's saying you can either link to a personal web page for another company, or you can go with directories like um, City Search, yellowpages.com, yep. Yell, oh, Yelp is more of a review, I guess a directory review site. I mean, there's thousands, hundreds of thousands D-Moz, of directories. Isn't it? D-Moz. Right? Okay. Yeah, there's a good uh, directory one. There you go. So, I mean, you could submit to tons and tons of directories. Um, I, I, yeah. Well, <laughs> so so I understand. Obviously, he's working on some pretty popular websites that are pretty highly ranked and so pretty desirable to have links on. So people are sending him lots of emails. Uh, I, and you know what? I think uh, if you're gonna do that, you need to be a little bit different. You need to you need to show the value uh, in that email. So mm-hmm. it can't be. You know, I would agree with this if he if he added just the sentence, uh, you know, uh, sending standard email messages or or um, carbon copy mm-hmm. email messages uh, for link exchange requests uh, via email. Um, because you need to spend a little bit of effort. You know, what is the value? Let them know that you're not just you know mass firing emails off, and mm-hmm. you know they're just a potential link in a, in a myriad of thousands. Let them know that hey, I spent some time on your website. You know, you sell pl- plumbing supplies. I'm a plumber. Um, it kind of makes sense for us to kind of send information back and forth or send link juice back and forth. Yeah. So let's see if we can make that happen. And it may even be worth a phone call. You know, links are that valuable. Now, one thing that Chris does say that I think is absolutely worth uh, pointing out is remember to spend your time on posting quality and sought after information on your site. This is kind of called what we call link baiting, right? So mm-hmm. if you've got maybe, and maybe we need to restructure this a little bit, maybe with Chris's pers- uh, you know, um, permission, you know, uh, you may be a douche if SEO, yeah. right? And we title this article and we write it all out and we've got you know five or or, or ten things that you may be a douche if blah blah blah, uh, and make it you know of course I'm going after the, the you may be a redneck if yeah. kind of thing. Um, that might be something that people would link to. Uh, obviously, we're going to link to Chris's article. So mm-hmm. he's actually written content uh, that has link baited. We're going to be linking to him. And yes, I think that is more valuable. Um, I also think that you should be doing it all. That's what we do when we work for our clients here. We're doing it all. We're making contact with other websites. We're uh, trying to write content that that is link baiting content. Linking directories. Viral videos. I mean, uh, it just it works. <laughs> Google Places. Newsletters. I mean, that's a huge part of a business in maintaining contact with a potential or existing customer base. Newsletters are incredibly important. So. You know, we'll we'll get involved and write newsletters and work with the uh, clients to write newsletters. So uh, all of this is really good, um, and stay focused on all of that. Hey, Rob. Uh, Rob just walked in. There What's up, Rob? Rob? Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I, I think that was cool. One one thing about linking that I'd say, and we we've kind of talked about, we have talked about this before. You know, watch who who and where you're linking from. It can have a a negative and a positive effect on your search engine results, uh, your search engine placement. So watch where you're linking from. You want to get good links from credible, high-quality websites. If you are sending link, uh, and I say this because I had this experience a couple times. If you're sending link emails, don't send it to a competitor. Yeah. Because I've, I've gotten a couple of those emails. And, uh, hey, we're an SEO company. Why don't we exchange I, links? Hell uh, no. Because <laughs> we're an SEO company also. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, come on. Okay, if you're a web design company and you don't do SEO, maybe link or oh, call them us. Right. Uh, right. So, or link to or link to us. us. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, you know, find complimentary services, but don't, and I, and I'm like, this is a webmaster or an SEO guy emailing me who doesn't get it. And I'm like, who's a douche? You're a douche. <laughs> you're fired. If I was the dude that hired him, I'd be like, you're a douche. You're and fired. here, here at eWebStyle, we have a 
strict strict policy of not linking to douches. There you go. No douchery. No douche linking. <laughs> involved. I was probably like, what the hell are you guys talking about, douche? <laughs> How many, we're going to try and stuff the word douche. douche. <laughs> we're going to do keyword douche stuffing uh, right you now. Know what? In like a couple of weeks, I'm going to Google just douche. douche. <laughs> we'll be on number page number one. And don't be confused because we're not douches. We, are not, we just don't hang around with douches. I know we just say we douche a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer the bidet. Thank you there very you much. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that is the end of our podcast. You are listening to the most popular SEO podcast on iTunes. This was podcast number 60. If you just joined us, that means you have 59 other podcasts you have to go back and listen to. If you got any valuable information or you just liked the word douche, Go to iTunes, create an account, submit a review, and uh, mention the word douche. We'll know what yeah. we'll, we'll know what podcast you listen to. And just say these guys are not douches. douches. How cool would that be? That You're the guy who said cool. these guys are not douches. Uh, and I, you know, I want to give a shout out to the dude that was like. It, these guys not boring not boring there you yeah. go edutainment <laughs> and edutainment, edutainment. Um, there, was is that it? Vader Jedi. one of them's Jedi the, another one actually quoted Sivo another one quoted now that's, that's what's, up. what's up that's what's up <laughs> what she just said just then <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is um, what is up so we are the most popular SEO podcast on iTunes that is because of you we really appreciate you guys listening watching stalking everything thank you so much uh, find a way to get in contact with us. You can send an email. You can get a free website analysis uh, from somebody here at the office. You just need to go to e-webstyle.com, uh, click the SEO button. It'll request a phone call, and then kind of the, at the bottom of the very first paragraph is a link to a form that you can submit. We are happy to do those. We understand that eventually you will become a customer. I am hypnotizing you. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Not you, Paul. Oh. <laughs> Here's my money. <laughs> Open your wallet. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, my name is Chris Burris. And I'm Paul Hansen. Bye-bye for now.